Hello there and welcome to my chaos. So today we are going to be doing the level 10 quest with Hades. So let's go ahead and get into it. Why does it look like Hades and I? I just like went in and then out again to like reset everything. Why does it look like we're getting snuggly? Oh my god, Gaston. Oh, oh shoot. He's gonna go run off and tell Jafar, isn't he? Listen, I don't think Jafar would even be worried about it. He knows how I feel about Hades. He knows how I feel about- You know what, Gaston? You want to tell him? You want to go ahead and tell Jafar? Go off. Go off and tell him. He's like trying to act all big and bad. Meanwhile, I'm literally wearing Hades on my shirt. Maybe we should go talk to Jafar. Oh, shoot. He's going to go tell Jafar. Jamie, I've got it. Finally. Oh, God. What? The way to get the attention I deserve. You don't deserve any attention. Crawl back into your hole. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. What is your idea? Okay, so I started with the obvious fact that everyone's selfish. I mean, I wouldn't say everybody is entirely selfish. I would say everybody can be selfish or selfish, but I, I wouldn't be so pessimistic. Jafar, sweetie! Oh, he's bound to Goofy. I guess Gaston hasn't gotten to him yet. We'll talk to him later. Um, speak for yourself. Hades, quite frankly. I do, and for the dead, which percentage-wise is basically everyone. Trust me, this plan is gonna work. Here's what we'll do. Throw a celebration, that way people think I'm giving them something. Oh my god. That doesn't sound too wild. Oh, uh, it will be if you execute my plans properly. Oh, listen, Hades, we don't need any wild parties. We don't want- the Storybook Vale is not a place for wild parties, okay? It's a place where introverts go to be their introverted selves and just be left alone except for their best friends like Vanessa here. You know? We don't throw parties here. We read books here. I'm gonna throw the best party the Vale has ever seen. <sighs> I don't want to party in the Vale. Then everyone will have no choice but to adore me. No, no. Hades, if you want to throw a party, who am I to say no? I, I've, I've said no multiple times. That's what I like to hear. Now, the first thing we need for a party is a menu. If I have to go to Remy, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Oh, look at my husband and Ola. They're going on a little stroll. Ooh, do you think Jafar is um, having Olaf become his little minion? Oh my god, how how cute is this? Oh my god, oh my. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Olaf just following Jafar around. Okay, Jafar is not mad at me. Jafar, you're not mad at me, right? He, he, he doesn't even notice. He, he's, he's not worried at all. He knows how deeply in love with him. I am. <laughs> Go talk to Tiana. Oh, thank God. We finally get to talk to Tiana. If she caters my party, they'll be raving about the food. That's true. Cool. I'll go chat with her now. Great. Yeah, I love that. Um, well, I guess I'll hang out with you, Hades. That way I don't have to keep hunting you down. Although I would rather hang out with my husband. All right, let's see. Did Tiana pop up anywhere? Hi, Tiana. Got a moment for you? Of course. All right. What can I do? Well, Hades is trying to plan a party for everyone in the Vale, and he's hoping you'll help with the catering. Oh, yeah. Well, you certainly can't have a good party without good food. I'd be happy to help. Do you think Hades would do something for me in return? Uh, I'll... I'll try to make him see reason. I sure do appreciate that. What do you need? I've been trying to get some more attention for my restaurant. You need it. I, I mean, not not to be rude. It's just, you need more, oops, you need more attention than Remy's restaurant. So she desperately needs promotion because she needs to be the top restaurant in all of Disney Dreamer Valley. The whole place, you know? If Hades could arrange some signs that promote Tiana's palace, that would be just... PG, Tiana's palace, not Tiana's place? Okay, whatever. Great, I'll go update him. Did he follow me around? Soon. Is he not following me around? Is this a freaking joke? Is this a... I'm gonna go have myself... I'm gonna go hang out with Jafar. <laughs> if I'm gonna have to keep hunting down Hades, I might as well just have my husband with me because emotionally, I can't handle this. Okay, let's go find stupid Hades. 
because he's just going to hang out here for all eternity right outside my house. Okay, Hades, I'm back from speaking with Tiana. She's happy to do the catering for your party. She's wondering if you could do something for her in return. Oh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, that's fair. What's it going to cost me? Everything. How are you at Carpentry? Jamie, do I seem like I'm the type who looks for splinters? I've got pain and panic under my skin most of the time anyway. Whatever. So what does she want? She wants some help promoting Tiana's palace around the valley. Yes. That's easy. I thought she was going to ask me for an intervention with the fates or something. Oh, we can have that too. Let me think. Got it. Shut your eyes for a second, Jamie. This part is kind of a god's only trick. Jafar, apparently I have to shut my eyes. Can, can you watch out for me, please? Oh, is that Pumbaa? <gasps> my son's here, too! Could you also keep an eye on Pumbaa? Thank you. Pumbaa, like, shoved his father. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll talk to him later about why you don't do that. Jafar's watching out for me, though. He wouldn't let anything happen to me while my eyes are closed. Done. Here, take these. That was creepy. What's that? Oh, actually, let's tell him I peeked a little. Let's see what he says. Okay, well, if you feel nauseous and have a new relationship with your mortality, it'll wear off in a year or two. What? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> And what did you make for me? Some gemstones? Oh. Jamie, as the lord of the underworld, I've got a special relationship with gems, scenes, metals, basically anything under the earth. Okay. If you plant each of these gemstones around Mythopia and water them, they'll grow into regal, elegant signs pointing the way to Tiana's place. Word to the wise, and consider it a compliment, the gem should take about five minutes to grow. I have to wait? Five minutes? Five. I'm going to grow old, grow gray. I don't know if I can handle that. Great, I'll hop on that now. That's a good head minion. I'm not your minion. And while you're out, I'll start considering what kind of entertainment we'll need for the party. None. Goodbye. Books. Bring books. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plant the underworld gemstones in Mythopia. All right, come on, husband. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'll just hang out for five minutes while these finish growing. Oh, look at these cute little signposts. They're adorable. All right, Hades, you did good. For once in your stupid immortal life, you did good. Okay, signs are up and Tiana is working on the catering. Good, good. Now let's talk entertainment. Orpheus would normally be the go-to, but we're not exactly on speaking terms at the moment. I wonder why... Actually, I don't know who Orpheus is. Big time Greek musician, really top of the charts. I was going to break one of my cardinal rules for him. All he had to do was walk out of my underworld without looking back. But could he know? Oh, the guy who wanted to, like, save his wife or whatever. He was a musician? He's going to break one cardinal rule. Yeah, I think it was, like, what? He could, he could save his wife. He could take his dead wife out of the underworld if he could only, like, not look back to make sure he was there, I think. Really, it's his own fault, but he insists on blaming me for what he lost. Now, I think we have to recruit one of the villagers here. They're always humming to themselves. Surely one of them knows a set list suitable for my party. Right. I've been observing, and I have a few candidates lined up, but I'll need you to tag along. Give me a second option and help me convince them to perform if they don't jump at the opportunity. If one of them's Mirabelle, I'm going to lose my mind. Sure. Who are we going to audition? Also Kristoff. But I bet Kristoff is on there. But if one of them's Mirabelle, that's it. It's over. <laughs> no! No. No. No, 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 her voice doesn't make me yearn to claw my ears off. It's nice. Peppy, not gonna steal my thunder. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Mirabelle's gonna use her mind control powers to put a spell on all of us. My plan is hell on you. And it was strong, strong. 
and Eric, well, that little flute of his does kind of make me nostalgic for Greek double flute. Hades has a thing for Eric. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice talking to you. No, 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 no. We got to immediate. Wait, wait, wait. Tag along with Hades. Oh, no, that means they're already here. I don't even have an option in this. Mirabelle has arrived to Storybook Vale. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Eric, are you okay? Eric, how would you like to do a flute performance at my party? Sure, that sounds like fun. I love playing music. He's gonna be brainwashed by Mirabelle. How about you play a little something for me now? Okay. Hmm. Da da da. Love it. Brilliant. We'll be in touch. Oh, he loves Eric. <laughs> this valley is pretty great. Okay, Eric. Eric, stay over there. Don't you move. Don't you dare go back out into the water. Just don't move. Do not take a single step anywhere. We're gonna keep Mirabelle as here as short as possible. We don't want her to stay any longer than she needs to be. Oh gosh. Mirabelle, how'd you like to perform at an exclusive and classy party? Could use a good vocalist. That sounds interesting. What kind of songs would you want me to sing? Why don't you surprise me with a little something now? Oh no. Close your ears. Oh, all right. Ahem. This family reminds me of home. Everyone's love shines so bright. No, don't listen. Don't listen. Nice. Great. We'll be in touch. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Should we? You know what? Jafar. I'm gonna hang out with Mirabelle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna hang out with Mirabelle because we need to keep an eye on her. Mirabelle, I'm not letting you contaminate this valley with your evilness. Talk to Hades about the audition. Hey. Oh my God, she won't even let me talk to Hades. Hades, get over here. Everything cool? We cannot take an eye off Mirabelle, not for a second. Well, that went, what do you think? I preferred Eric's flute. Oh, that Really, Jamie, I may not be the god of music, but I do have some knowledge of culture. What's that supposed to mean? And that was not okay. it. See, Shanties, what was he thinking? How dare he hate on my ex-boyfriend? Only I can hate on my ex-boyfriend. No way. Those are, no way those auditions were right for the electric mood I'm trying to create. Okay, we can get rid of Mirabelle. <laughs> but if you want to hire him for a children's birthday party, go right ahead. What am I gonna do? Who can I get to perform? A party isn't a party worth having without a top-notch music. What if you find someone to DJ? Then you could have input on the playlist and everything. DJ? Yeah, think of it as a sort of a modern musician. They usually have a special DJ table with a whole bunch of recorded music. They'll control what gets played when and how. So this DJ has godlike control over the music. Just don't make it Mirabelle. As long as it's nobody in the eye Illuminati, I approve. You could put it that way. Well, now this is interesting. Clearly, I'll be the day DJ for my own party. You know what? That's fine. You killed me. Not really. I'm the Lord That's of the fine. dead. Head minion, fetch me a DJ table and give it some class. Make it out of marble. Mirabelle, you're gonna, you're gonna get out of here now what about mirabelle and eric shall i tell them you're going in another direction don't bother what can i say i like the idea of them being tearfully waiting for an i like the idea of them tearfully waiting for an acceptance letter yeah, see you, later. you know what hades i do too all right mirabelle let's go mirabelle get over here mirabelle mirabelle madrigal what is she doing is she not following me around? Oh my God, she's trying to control my husband. You know what, let's just do this. Violet's hang out later and then we're just gonna travel. Just travel back to this well. Surely she'll be gone, right? Cause she's banished. No, oh shoot, 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 shoot. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta get out of here. Right now. Okay, hopefully she's gone now. Please be gone. Okay. Yep. Yep. 
super safe. Hey, it's editing me from the future, but I didn't realize when I was playing that literally both Mulan and Nala, two out of three of our protectors, are in the area in which Mirabelle was just in. Like, do you see this? Do you see this right now? How they both show up to make sure that Mirabelle is gone? And of course, Jafar is still there hanging out. Because so like, we have, Jafar is basically a protector too at this point, right? Like, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I love them. I love them all. I love them all so much. Anyway, back to the video. 20 magma? 20? Are you kidding? Okay. Actually, Eric, where is he? Where is my ex-boyfriend? Eric, get over here. I need somebody who does the whole, like, rock stuff. He's one of my minors. So we'll hang out with Eric and make sure that he hasn't been brainwashed by Mirabelle. And then we'll go mining. Okay, how about this? We're gonna talk to Eric. If he talks about Ariel, he's been brainwashed. If he does not talk about Ariel, he's fine. Hello. Eric, how are you feeling? Do you have a question for me? Jamie, have you ever seen a dolphin? He's safe. He's fine. I do want to make sure Jafar performs a little bit of mind control on him. That way we can like be sure that he is okay. But Eric's fine. Mirabelle did not get to him. Okay, Eric, let's hang out because I just want to keep an eye on you. And also you're one of my miners and uh, I need to go get some magma. So, oh my God, I don't have enough crystals to make the good potions. Are you kidding me? By the time I use all of this up, I probably won't even have a single magma. Probably not even one. Oh, never mind. We got a lot of magma from that, actually. All right, Eric should be able to give us our last one. Thank goodness. Whew, that took forever. I had to go around three times. All right, craft a, craft a Corinthian marble DJ table. Okay, here we go. Where is the dummy? What is Jafar doing to Gaston? You know what, Jafar? Keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. I support it. Oh, Jafar, or not Jafar, Hades is harassing fairy godmother. Now it looks like he's after Rapunzel. What is he doing? Hades, you better not be yelling at Rapunzel. Take this stupid DJ table. Why is he on fire? You know what? I don't even care. There you go, Hades. One DJ tabled fashion and quality Greek marble. I, whoa, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka. You know what? Been there, done that. Okay, whatever. I can send Vanellope over. No, better start practicing. Are you saying I'm gonna be terrible at this? I know you're gonna be terrible at this. Well, if you don't practice, you'll definitely be terrible. If I wanted to consult a philosopher, believe me, I know a few. That's nice. Could you talk to them for once? You could learn like, a few things. Now, I think we need to talk invitations. Sure. Have you thought about stationery? I can craft. Jamie, oh. Jamie, Jamie. Still thinking like a mortal. Paper is mortal. Sheesh, you're giving me a headache. You're giving me a headache. One moment you've got great ideas and the next is paper, mortal. You know what, Hades? You, you don't even know what a rhetorical question is. He doesn't even know what a rhetorical question is. You're so dumb. But let's get back to invitations. I'm planning a party fit for the gods themselves. We need something better than just paper. No, you're going to catch some bird snippets for me. I'll write the invitations on them so that when I release them, they fly straight to the invitees. Invitees, whatever. The blue ones come from the bind. Should do the trick. Okay, I'll get on that. Bye-bye. I can't wait till we never have to hang out with him again. <laughs> All right, come on, Eric. Let's actually, let's keep Hades with me. If he'll actually hang Everything out with me, cool? that's the question. No, Hades, nothing is cool. You're getting on my nerves. All right, four Hogwarts letters. Here we come. Gosh, Hades, for an immortal, you're really slow. I'm in need of a little favor. What do you say? 
I'm in need of a favor for you to crawl back into your hole. Invitations are all set. Ah, uh, nothing like a good scheme coming together. <sighs> now you just need to bring the DJ skills. Good, I'm really getting the hang of it. Oh, are you practicing? I thought you didn't need to practice, Hades. My guests are going to be treated to a revolution in music. I'm sure they will. Wow, you seem quite sure of yourself. Oh, you'll see. Okay, next on the list, you are definitely not dressed for this kind of classy function I'm trying to cultivate here. You're right. My outfit, the, the face on it is hideous. So stupid. But I'm having a hard time deciding on a dress code for the party. At first I thought white, yellow, and elegant to steal Zeus's thunder. More like honor him. But then why would I want to imitate him? So I could go red, yellow, and modern for a fiery look that says I do what I want. Whatever. Or what about a nature theme? Green, brown, and sporty could be interesting. You'll be wearing it. What do you think? Personally, I'd prefer to dress up in... White, yellow, and elegant. It's gotta be the Olympus core. Show Zeus that you can do his style better than him. Except not really. Nice. Okay, okay, I can see it. Well, you know your dress code. Yeah, I know. Yes. Dionys is going to flip when he hears... When he hears I out party hosted him? Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, and by the way... To make things easy, I've set up a little portal to zoom you and the other guests to the party location. What? Bye-bye. Please tell me Mirabelle's not there. We don't need her to know about any more universes. <sighs> oh boy, help us all. Help us all, please. What is this? This is so cool. Why couldn't I bring Jafar here? Why can't I bring my husband here to take romantic shots? Huh? Why? Why, Hades? Tell me why I can't have my husband on Mount Olympus. You made it. Shocking. All right, everyone's here. I've got catering, my DJ table. Let's get this party started. Are you ready, Jamie? No. Ready for what? To hear a revolution in music making, I'm about to outdo the muses. I wouldn't say that if I were you. I invented a whole new DJ technique. I call it the smash up. It's when you play two songs at once. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Wait, you're forgetting something. Oh? You need to pick a DJ name. You can't just perform as Hades or DJ Hades. You need a proper DJ name. It's tradition. Okay, any suggestions? DJ Hothead. Hmm, DJ Hothead. I like it. Of course you do. It could say, or it could say, my flaw is also my greatest strength, or I'm literally on fire. Either way, I win. Whatever helps you sleep at night. There you go. Well, you've got a proper DJ name now. It is, is it time to start the show? Absolutely. Ahem. Welcome, everyone, to a momentous occasion. The first show by DJ Hothead. What is that horrible racket that begins to emerge from Hades' speakers? It sounds like he has taken two radically different songs and is attempting to force them to play nice together. It clearly isn't working. Yeah, of course not. Oh, oh yeah, that's the beat. Yeah, okay. Hades, not now, I'm busy. We're almost at the bridge. Oh boy. Yeah, that's it. Wonder why nobody's dancing. I wonder why. Truly I do. Oh, poor Daisy. We don't want Daisy here for this mess. Are you kidding? I can't wait to see what Mother Gothel has to say about it. And now the drop and there. Come on. Was that amazing or was that amazing? That was terrible. Can I suggest that you keep practicing? What? Ah, oh, poor DJ Hothead. Yeah, sorry, Hades, that wasn't good at all. I know you worked hard on that, but the tunes kind of clashed with each okay, other. Okay. Sure, maybe. Why don't we ask the guests about what they thought? Then you'll see how wrong you are. Okay, we'll ask Mother Gothel and Daisy. Staff. They'll tell us. They'll tell us straight out how it went. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't get to talk to... Oh, no, I get to talk to Mother Gothel. Let's talk to her. Oh, hello, dear. Jamie, what brings you to see Mother today? Wait, what? Oh, listen to... Oh, okay. Flynn, what did you think? Teasing. Hades, that was the most oral equivalent... Or that was the oral equivalent of a cra... cla ugh, Of a cat scratching its claws. Oh my god, I can't see anything. <laughs> Suddenly, I get why you're constantly on wanted posters. 
You asked. I figured a guy like you would want the cold, brutal truth. Am I right? He should be right. Well, Scrooge, what did you think of my set? It, um, it reminded me of the student bagpipe players from back home. Actually, it made me quite nostalgic. Oh, boy, imagine being compared to a bagpipe. Reminds you of bagpipes? Unbelievable! That's like an insult on top of an insult, really. It, it really, truly is. Hey, some of us like bagpipes, you know. Well... I don't know what to say, Scrooge. Sorry about it. Gotha, I know you're dying to tell me what you think of my DJ set. You know she is, and you know we're gonna love it. Hades, the frogs outside my tower sounded better. So did the crows. And they don't sing. Sheesh, that's cold. I really expected more from her, though. If ever you want a gig in the underworld, you know where to find me. Oh. Are you sure you're strong enough to handle yourself out here? He just threatened the <laughs> Ooh, Okay. Hey, Hades, how are you feeling? I hope you have a more accurate view of your DJ skills yeah. now. Uh, what I have is an accurate view of the terrible taste you all have. Oh no, well I guess you can crawl back into your hole. Goodbye. You're sure you don't want to try again? Maybe with a simpler concept? No, no way. Absolutely not. We are done with this for now. In fact, everybody out! Okay, bye. You gotta be <laughs> kidding me. There. Much better. Aw, Hades can't handle what other people think of him. He just, all he cares about is what other people think of him, quite frankly. So, what have we learned about jumping headfirst into new endeavors and expectations about our abilities? Oh no, you don't get to the moral of the story, me. Yes, I do. The mistake I made was doing anything for you mortals in the first place. Artists perform for me, not the other way around. That's not true, and you know it. Ah, uh, so we learned nothing. Enough! Oh, am I getting under your skin, Hades? Little old me, a, pe a mortal is getting under your skin. You poor thing. How weak, how weak of a god you are. I, I just gotta go back to doing what I do best. Brimstone, souls, and suffering. I agree. Go ahead and go back there. Let's just forget about this whole thing, okay? Sounds great to me. Still, you were a good head minion. You get the whole beck and call thing. I really don't. So here, a little reward for not totally screwing up. Great. Perfect. Can't wait. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Hades. Yeah, yeah, you're not worthy. You bow before me. I've heard it all before. Oh my god. Now maybe I can modify the lightning generator to really put some put out some big balls. Go ahead. Go ahead and try. Wow, that's my cue to leave. Bye, yeah, Hades. Yeah. I didn't think you'd pull it off. Wait, get over here. Get over here, you stupid dumb head. Oh, Beast, why are you still here? Oh, Beast would like to perform. <laughs> Beast is trying to put on a performance over here. <laughs> Alright, let's put on this new outfit. See what it looks like. Armor of the sticks. I mean, it's cool. It's not my vibe. But it's cool. So I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more Disney Dreamer Valley content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Making dreams come true.